Driveway Primitive here, and we've got another problem in the workshop. Um, my Shopmaster Delta bandsaw, it's model SM400. Had a problem I was uh, cutting the other day. I was trying to make a slingshot actually out of a, a board, and uh, it started to wobble a little bit. I could feel it, and something wasn't right, so I opened it up and um, looked inside and was having a little trouble with this lower shoe. So, see these have these uh, rubber shoes on them that hold the blade sets on that. Well, this bottom one was starting to act up and I, I, I didn't understand what was happening at first. I, I, those of you that know me know I'm not handy. Uh, but what had happened was this was starting to come loose and a few minutes later I closed it up and tried to keep going and a few minutes later it snapped and the blade went screwy and I opened it up and this had just broken. Just a clean break. So this is a pretty old machine. Uh, like most of my machines I inherited it from my dad when he passed. He uh, left me a workshop full of tools and I've slowly learned how to use them and then uh, not how to fix them though. So this is all new to me and we're going to go through the process. I've ordered some new shoes. They're made of a different material. I think these are polyurethane. I'm not sure but they're supposed to be better. The width's the same. Uh, everybody tells me these are a booger to put on and that I need to boil them for about five minutes or at least put them in heated water so that the cells will expand a little bit. I think you know we're all familiar with that physics. So um, I'm gonna do that and we're gonna try to stretch one of these. I, I got this uh, set of two for $26. It's 26 and change on Amazon. If you go to the actual and try to find a Shopmaster Delta part, it's 40 bucks for one. It's what I found. So hopefully you're a better shopper than I am. So for 26 bucks, I bought two new ones. Uh, a new one of these is probably around 100 bucks. So that's crazy that a small part can <laughs> can cost a fourth of the value of the whole machine. But I can't afford to go drop $100 right now, and I really don't like to do that anyway. It's better if I can fix it, but I have a feeling this one's gonna this one's gonna be a cussing fit for them over with. Let's try it. Now here's what the bands look like. They're just a, I said poly they're urethane bandsaw tires. Um, sulfur Grove tool. I think there's a number on here, yeah, phone number. Like I said, I, I think it was about 26 bucks. This is what they look like. It's got a rubber band around them. I got these particular ones because somebody had uh, written a review and said they had used it on this exact machine. So um, there's a lot of bands out there and I was concerned you don't want to pay that much, get the wrong thing, then there's always some kind of hassle get returning it. Um, so I wanted to hear from somebody's mouth. Hopefully it was a competent person. It seemed to be somebody that, that sounded knowledgeable. They said that it, it worked like gangbusters on their, their same model of this Delta. So that's why we're going to try these. And this is what they look like. Now I'm, I'm boiling some water on the wood stove. So that's what I'm waiting for. I got my little metal bowl and my, my shoe in there ready to pour some hot water on. I'm going to heat it for about five minutes. But I wanted to show you how I'm, I'm prepping for this. Most people will take this wheel off. Uh, they'll remove it. There's a, a reverse screw and then a little a little pin that sort of holds everything together. I really want to avoid that. Uh, probably going to make my life harder, but it seems to me if I've got something to hold it, it's going to be easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, loosen up this table, turn it sort of out of the way. Then I'm going to get a paper towel, and I'm just going to try to try to clean this wheel out as much as possible because there is. There is some dust, of course, some uh, wood chips, and it's just going to, it's hard to get it completely clean. I'm going to do the best job I can. I'm not using any kind of solvents or even liquid. I'm just dry wiping this thing, and I'm going to get as much of that off as possible. I may have to go back, if this isn't successful, take the wheel off, put it in my lap, and, and try my best. I've also got a screwdriver. Um, I don't want to cut my band, so this is an old messed up screwdriver that I have uh, grinded the end off 
um, where it's smooth, it's where it doesn't have a real pointy or sharp edge. And I'm going to use that to help me roll this on to the, uh, the wheel. So that's where I'm at, waiting for my water to boil. Okay, so here I am. I got my pot, my little metal pot bowl with uh, my, my band in there. I got some water I boiled on the wood stove. I'm going to try to get this as low in the bottom of this pan as I can. I'm just going to pour this hot water on there. Some people actually boil it on the stove. I'm, I'm afraid to do that. I just want to get this thing submerged. And I've got a timer just to keep me honest. I'm going to do that for five minutes. And that goes off. I'm going to be ready to try to stretch this thing on. Turn that blasted thing off. Five minutes. We let it soak. Looks like I'm cooking eel or something. I've moved my camera a little bit. Let's see if you can see me. Okay, next thing we'll do. I should have said earlier, I've got this machine unplugged uh, for safety. It actually turned the water a little bit orange. I'm going to set this aside because I might need to reheat it. I'm hoping this is enough. But I got my paper towels. I'm going to dry this off very well. Make sure there's no moisture. And then we're going to do our best to get this on without taking it off, without taking the wheel off. I'm going to put you here where you can see what's going on, but you're in a precarious spot. I don't want to knock my camera off, but you can see this fits right in that little groove, one would hope. I'm going to try to stretch it on like a rubber band, but we'll see how successful we are. Most people... <laughs> I have, might take a couple of takes here. Use my little tool. This is where a clamp would probably come in handy. And again, removing the wheel. I was warned by many that this is going to be not one of the best days of my life trying to get this thing on here. Just try to step up a lip. Oh. Don't give up. Don't give up. Oh. The horror. The horror. Hopefully, you will have an easier time with this than I am. I really need two screwdrivers. Okay, that's promising, but we're not completely in the... Nope. Close, but no cigar. Let's try to stretch it with my hand a little bit. Oh, I know you're all laughing at me. to take this swill off. Oh, oh, okay. Now, it snapped on. I hope you can see that. But what I got to do now is just sort of go around with this screwdriver and make sure that it's in the little track. See how it's, it's sticking off a little bit. So now we've just got to get it fitted on there. And that's a little finesse, but... It's actually going better than I thought it would so far, so let's uh, let's see if we can't work it in just with our hands first. Okay, that's popping in. That's doing good, doing good, doing good. Actually, we're not even having to use the screwdriver. Let's take this, go ahead and take this out. Again, I this is an old screwdriver that's dulled. Don't use something with sharp edges or you're going to tear your band. I had actually, that's very dull. I've just been using it to work that on. See how we're, we're getting them fitted in here. We're just pushing them in. Pushing it in that channel. That's all going in there. 
all according to my evil plan, but you are in the way. I shouldn't invite people into the workshop when I'm trying to fix stuff. I don't even know if you can see what I'm doing. Anyway, we've almost got it. We've almost got it here. I am going to uh, get the blade put back on. Fit looks really quite decent. I'm going to go over it one more time, just making sure that it's all in that channel and it's even. And then we're going to turn the machine on and see how it cuts. Okay, now I think we've got it seated well. I've put the blade back on. I'm going to leave the machine open while we test fire it here. I've put my safety glasses on because I've plugged the machine back in. And these things can fly off. We, we don't know if it's set perfectly. So we're going to try it. Looks pretty good. I think we fixed it. <laughs>